Hello everybody and welcome back to my deck formula series. In this video we are going to be talking about Constellars. Those constellational, the constellation deck as I like to call it, but I just have it called Constellars. As you guys can see right there, Constellars. Um, so anyway, in this deck I'm going to be showing you the Constellars and then we're going to be using them and showing you guys how to use them effectively in battle. Alright, for the monsters, you want to have about three Constellar Cause. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, three Pollux. Three Alegdi. And three Sh Shiradin, if that's how it's pronounced. Three Brotherhood the Fire Fist Bear, so three Bear, basically. One Honest. Three Leonis. And that's pretty much it for the monsters, because this deck is kind of meant to be tormenting and quick because of a, a few certain cards. Anyway, for the spells, we have two reinforcement of the army, one day of peace, mind control, a dark hole, three constellar star cradle. I'm thinking about switching that out for something else, but it's it's actually serving me some pretty good stuff, or serving me pretty good. Um... Three, or not three, uh, one Book of Moon and one Constellar Star Chart. Three Tenki, and the last is a Constellar Belt. There's very little traps because of how fast this deck runs, kind of. So, we got a Bottomless, a Torrential, three Constellar Meteor, a Compulsory, and Solemn Warning. Extra deck, we have two. Constellar Pitomaly M7, one wind up um, Arsenal Zenomiar. I think it's got a different name now, so that's a misprint technically. Um, one Adrius Keeper of Armageddon, three Constellar Pleiades, a trolley card, I say. Um, one number 61, one Constellar. Prezepi, or Prezep, or Prezep, we'll just go with that, Prezep. Uh, one Omega, three, or one, number 50, one Star Liege Paladimio, one, um, Symphony Degen of Maystroke, uh, one Constellar Hades, and a wind up Zen Mains. And for side deck, we have three lands, a mirror, a dimensional. Oh, why do I have a royal prison in this? That shouldn't be in there. Um, okay, so we also have um, three Constellar, Aldebaran, and a Zen Mange, just for the lols. Um, okay, so anyway, how Constellars work is they, they're they kind of like the anti-evil, they're like an anti-evil swarms, although they do the same thing as them. So... Let me explain how this deck works. What Kaz does is when he's summoned to the field, he's able to either increase or decrease the level of any monster on the feet or oh no, not any monster, of any constellar monster by one level or decrease that level by one. So you can either plus one to their level or minus one. And Pollux and Alegdi, or, um, Al, or AGD, ah, I can't pronounce these names half the time. I'm trying to work on that, too. Anyway, these two are the main cards that help you spe summon another monster each turn. AD, or, or, we'll just go with Aug. With Aug, you pretty much summon him. Or a her, if it is a him, I think it's a him. You summon him to the field, and you can special summon a level 4 Constellar monster from your hand. And Pollux, you pretty much, when you summon him, you're able to summon another Constellar monster from your hand as an additional summon. So you pretty much, <clears throat> excuse me, want to get a combo with you summon Pollux and Aug, and then if you have Cause in hand, you play him. Increase their levels by one, and try and go for either Pleiades, Adrius, the Windup, or Bokasaurus. 
And then when your addf exceeds, you pretty much exceed into M7. It kind of works like Gaia Charger, so that's pretty much how M7 works for Constellars. It can work with either rank 5 or 6 monsters. So, it has to be a Constellar XYZ monster though. So that's the only way it'll work. So anyway, um, also, Leonis, you summon him and you're able to do an additional summon just like Pollux. Him and Pollux do the same thing. Sheridan, you pretty much summon him and you get a search out for any Constellar bear. Attack, deal damage somehow, and you can get a free tanky and search the deck out for either cause or a bear because they're beast warriors. And for Star Cradle, it's pretty much a recycle card to get back two Constellars from your graveyard to your hand. But there is a slight catch to this spell. If you do that, you cannot attack the turn you use that spell. So you want to be pretty picky on how you use that. And Tenki, you search out your deck, like I said. Meteor, if you, during the turn... During the turn this card is activated, if an opponent's monster battles a Constellar monster and the opponent's monster is not destroyed, you shuffle it back into your opponent's deck. So that pretty much ruins your opponent. So if it were not destroyed, that's pretty much what it does. So yeah, that's pretty much a troll card. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck. So we're going to be using it now. We'll go into the AI, and we'll go up against uh, Fire Fists. See how this deck works. Okay, this is not the best hand in the world, so we're just going to have to work with it. See if we can bluff a computer. That would be so funny if you could actually do that. Ha 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 ha. No. We're compulsing that back to your hands. We are not going to be losing any life points, hopefully. Hey, look, a free bottomless. And uh, we'll go into cause. Attack directly. Attack with bear. Search out for tanky. Main phase two. Wow. Is there really any purpose in that? Search out for another cause because you don't want to draw into him. When you get tanky, you pretty much want to just search out. When you get cards that search, you want to search out for the cards that you do not want to draw into because that's just bad consistency for the deck or something from what someone told me. So, yeah. I feel like we're being cheated right now. Ooh, okay. Time to get that play off. Increase their levels so we can go into Pleiades, which is the top dog troll monster to this deck. And see, you can go for M7 if you want to, but we're not going to. So, yep. Oh, that's bullcrap! That's absolute bullcrap right there. Now I feel bad I don't have a mirror force. We're probably gonna have to switch out Meteor. Ugh, fire fists are a pain. That is if you build them right, if you want to be a spam with them, or so on.
Yeah, I think we've lost this. Let's let's start this over because that was just bullcrap right there. And you guys will admit that mirror force was a bullcrap move. Aha! Get that search out. So that's pretty much how that play works. We'll go into an Omega. No, no, we're not letting you get any more plays off, you cheap fire fist person. So, yeah. Aha! So, we can technically actually attack. So just like infestation spell for the evil sworn, Omega basically works like that for the Constellars. We're gonna book that monster. We still get the search, I think. What? Okay, that's bullcrap. That's bullcrap right there. We'll get bare and get ourselves a free search. Er, actually, we won, so... Yeah, that's basically how Constellas work. I wish this could've went a little bit better. Although, I think we're just going to do a quick cert... Or, switch out with cards. So, we're probably just going to drop Meteor and add in Mirror Forces and a couple Lances too, to won't hurt. So the deck runs 41 cards now. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little duel, I think, little. Uh, anyway, so, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this video helped you guys learn on how to run Constellars. If you guys have any deck suggestions or ideas you want me to show you guys and how you use, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell me your thoughts on this video, along with the mermails, if that video probably loaded up before this. Anyway, Thank you guys for watching. This is Jay Lee Pritt here, also known as our, the Hidden Angel now. Later, y'all.